Mellow Greetings. Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to play the game Colony of Mercenaries. So, we have our startup screen here. Um, we have our ship selection button. Note that none of the other buttons will do anything. Those merely display the ship and team selection of other players. Um, when connecting to a multiplayer game, uh, IP address goes here. Um, not going to play multiplayer at this time, so I'll just leave that blank. And name goes here. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe more on that later. So, hit play. Uh, somehow or other I managed to choose this ship. Uh, the button I'm pressing now is keyboard plus. It moves your camera in and out. Um, it can also be modified with keys like Alt to move it up or down, or Shift to move it side to side for whatever preference or offset you have. Um, okay, so we're in game. Um, starting at the top, the green bar is your health, the blue bar is your energy. Um, the red bar will appear above the green bar, uh, seen now. That is the enemy health, um, to the right. So, to get started, uh, press A to begin accelerating. The red bar represents your acceleration, the green bar ex represents your velocity. Um, Z will decelerate you, and can even be, even give you reverse acceleration. Tab will instantly uh, set you to maximum acceleration. Equal sign, the one next to the backspace key, will set you to negative acceleration. And the tilde above tab is zero acceleration. <coughs> okay, now that that's done, uh, pressing S will turn the brakes, brakes on and off. Um, these allow you to surpass your acceleration value in velocity and uh, basically it turns off friction so we use this to stop and to go real fast <coughs> alright um, up in the right corner we have the minimap um, I can make it bigger for the moment. Okay, now it's in the center. Uh, each of the big squares is one of these towers, obviously. And the tiny ones are the individual ships. And the green dot there is you. And that is all that displays on the minimap. As you'll see, there are a couple different um, mini-map options. Uh, play with those as you will. Uh, the button I'm pressing to get to this menu is Escape. So I will return those to those settings. Alright. So, left mouse button will activate your primary weapon. In this case, it's these two red lasers, and right mouse your secondary weapon, which is this one laser that explodes into that red cube. Um, you'll notice there's a red box around that one ship I'm shooting. Um, the red box indicates that it's targeted. Alright, uh, the tiny red square, um, pull up another red box, uh, usually indicates uh, where one should shoot to hit it, but in this case, I feel that's clearly wrong. It may be because of the offset that this ship has. Um, the offset being created by the aforementioned uh, plus and minus keys on the keypad. 
<coughs> so that can throw that off. Uh, what next? Alright, so each ship has four abilities. They are mapped to Q, W, E, and R, respectively. Um, leave on this ship. Q is a... Oh, well, it killed it. I believe Q is a bolt that knocks other ships back. <coughs> w is a uh, heal. It, if you notice, it healed me back to full health. Um, notice each of these, most abilities will take energy, that blue bar. Uh, let's see, E. Ah, yes, E. The E on this ship is a form of hyperdrive. It... Um, suffice to say it makes you go fast and ignores some of the laws of physics. Uh, momentum is not conserved when using E, so you can make real tight turns. And let's see, R, the most useful, most useful ability on this is, uh, kind of a cannon. You, on this ship, you press it and it's a toggle, um, on off these white bolts. Notice that each bolt takes a small amount of energy. Alright, so uh, we will start heading back to base. Um, when you enter base, uh, it can heal you. So, a good healing mechanic there. Oh, oh, I overshot it. Disadvantage of using S to go fast everywhere. It's diffi difficult to control. And there you go, you can see my health going up. Alright, also, <coughs> while you're at, at the uh, main base, you can use the buy function. There are uh, four categories of weapons. You have two weapon slots, two core slots, an engine and auxiliary slot. So, um, you can buy from each of these be whatever. Um, weapons typically replace your primary and secondary weapon, so they'll change what you shoot and how you shoot it. Um, cores are just general enhancements, usually plus two health, plus two regenerations. Engines generally make you go fast. Some of them, um, like this one, for bow in front of the UI, uh, this one can also increase your health, um, we'll be adding more of these in time. So, yeah, uh, I don't have a lot of mo money, so, um, we'll just buy one of those. And you can see its effect. Alright, press B again to, uh, get out. Also, B is the button to trigger that screen. And now I shoot a different different laser is my primary weapon. So, anything else? Um, D is your targeting button. So you can press that to target ships that your crosshairs are on. Man, the offset does play havoc with this. There's a reason it's usually so offset, though. Alright, that's a bit better. So, as I was saying, um, a red highlighting box, like the ones around these bases, will indicate friendly ships. And, or a blue one, rather. And a red one will indicate an enemy ship. 
you'll also notice this um, this box that rotates around my screen a bit that indicates what direction you should turn to find your targeted ship um, can be useful if you get disoriented or something alright um, I think that's it for now